Hi, I'm Bob Vila. Welcome to this old rigs. Where today we're going to be giving you a brief look at the progress here, but we'll be taking you down to Cyprus to visit the Ryland factory where the rig of the future is being manufactured today. All of that after this. This old rigs brought to you by a grant from Owens Corning Fiberglass. Uh, picker school. Band brake on that thing. Sunlight. Sunlight and a bucket of water. Don't want to get it too wet though because if it creeps in, you'll get mauled and grossness. Back in the day, a guy used to just prep well, I didn't, but I know a few guys that would just pressure wash. At least for the hard areas anyway. That's the only way you're gonna get the mud out of there. And it makes it nice and smelly. Smells purdy. Good 
nice to have a squirt jug where you just squirt it where you want to work it. It's a good idea, I should do that. Of course, take the filter out. Dusting. Yes, I'm using the same water. The floor was not that dirty. It's all pointless. Oil field life. Get all your bulk dust off. Seat. I wish this was a cloth seat, it just sits here and it's filthy all the time. Ew, that is dusty. I don't even know what you guys are seeing, just fucking throwing you around here. There, and if you got light dust, like in the middle of the floor here is usually pretty clean because I keep wiping it from time to time because I don't like it looking dusty, but any kind of window cleaner that's foam, foaming window cleaner, something with some long threads for getting in the grooves. That's about all I ever do in here. I only really get the brush out to get in the nooks and crannies of All the mud always piles up in the water. Dude, that's pretty clean. But you'll not like I should have a toothbrush for getting in there because I don't that brush is too big. And that's just for uh getting it clean anyways. That's the only way to get it clean, like for me to take off my boots every time I get in the truck, if I'm getting in and out of the truck 900 times a day, doesn't doesn't work for me, so I should take that out and clean that. Swamper's like, my feet are too hot. And then uh, it'll dry and I'll have a little bit of haze, and lots of people will mothers it, but I don't like the way my floor mats kind of shift around a little bit when it's mothers. And honestly, I don't like the smell of mothers, so all mothers like, this part, bits of the door where it's always dry and dirty from 
it seems like you can wipe off all the mud and then once it's dry it just looks gross again and the only way to really get rid of that is mothers even scrubbing it with a brush it still comes out looking like dried it's in here. It's Anyway, where all the feet always touch, anyway, this is good for that, but I know lots of people love mothers at Road Train. We had it, same thing by the jugs, and people were just ghosted. I just got out of the habit of doing it, and I'm just like, I don't like that. Like you did the steering wheel, you moron. <laughs> As a swamper, we used to go to town, because I'd rather do clean the truck, then sweep the floor, or help mechanics fucking fix shit that is tire pressure is torquing. I'm like, oh, I'd rather clean stuff. Should really get in there and try to fix this console. It's loose and it's always making noises all the time, driving at the wall. Some polish, gonna try it out. I forgot to wash this though. It's too bad all these lights are so close. garbage Very nice. Too bad it's got this pitting in it I can't get rid of. Maybe a couple more polishes it'll come out. That won't. Or that. Surprised to see it's not rotten in there. Windex these ones. That's pretty shiny. Hi. 
cover to the water stands coming out from behind the lights. Took off that yellowish haze it had. But I don't know if you can see that in the light up there. Looks like someone put some sandpaper they were like polishing it or just had something stuck behind it. Nah. That ain't coming out.